might want to hold your breath before you head any further. You're about to witness the breathtaking vistas of what's known as the Dead Zone. That over there is Steepo Depot, the cliffside that Moog hangs on to. Let's see. This one's impressed to see you out here. He figured you'd be dead by now. Not many are as tough and clever as you must be. Tariman. Claims he goes after the most dangerous game, huge monsters. Mook says that all your power doesn't do you a bit of good if you're not willing to pull the trigger when the time comes. Choosing what to kill and what to spare are the most important decisions you'll make. You might have a steady aim, but you need to be sure that you pick your targets with care. It's hard to make those life or death decisions for others, but someone's got to do it. Otherwise, they'll do it themselves and you know they'll miss. Claims he mostly kills whoever he doesn't like. Says it's wild that the world seems to be coming back, but he supposes that means more monsters for him to shoot. Wonders why you work so hard to keep things alive. Bullets help thin the herd instead. Says you should give up on working with the stubborn myriad. He keeps trying to put out their lights and they keep putting up new ones. Says they keep the monsters away. He needs them closer, not farther. But enough of that, right? He says the wildlife, nature, has changed and turned against us. Instincts of survival took over when the world changed. He's not sure about their veggie diet anymore, and if it's changed, who knows what it's done with the chemical composition of their body output. Right now, though, he feels he's come to a point where he's got a pretty clear idea on the whereabouts of monsters, both tall and short. Says as big as they are, the world is bigger. To find where they are, you need to see where they've been. Moog says you must learn to walk before you can run. It takes practice before you can call yourself a monster hunter. Fortunately for you, he can help. He understands you need to start off with something small before you go big. There's no better place to start than a squip cave. Hunting down a couple of these little critters for yourself should keep you on your toes. Says you stick to the haunting and shots present themselves later. The bright time creatures are getting up.
Wait, it's the Skvipola. Place is just filled with critters. Needs a key. Once the volatization from the nuclear waste evaporated, a volatile gas rose through the soil and infested structures, even Toxanol's own buildings. So, in a way, they caused their own death. the lid off that sludge truck. It'll fill the place up and you can get up to that entrance there. Your destiny waits on the path you'll take to avoid it. Getting away this time. The scrap keeps piling up. like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Bristles like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they match. Bristles like the hair of one electrified. Take a moment. You need to line up the switches so they match. Bristles like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they match.
Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Feel like a landed fish? You sound like one. In the old world, roads like this really led somewhere. Now, most of them lead to disaster. He says that's enough squips to sustain the Mecton's claw crane cannon with infinite ammunition. Well done. Dog. That's the special weapon he made to store the squips in the Mecton. It will be strong enough to launch them at the Jumbo Puff. Dog. Gizmo's made vehicles before to confront the Jumbo Puff himself, but failed. But this time, it's different. The Mecton will be strong enough to do the job. It's time to put a stop to the World Eater now, otherwise he fears the damage it's caused to the tree already will be too much to handle. He asks you to not even think about taking on the Jumbo Puff on foot. You'll need the Mecton to do the job, take his word for it. There's time to improve the Mecton before you confront the Puff, there are more wreck boxes out in the dead zone with gear you should be able to equip the Mecton with on your own. He got the idea to build the Mecton when he found a big crate containing the metal frame for something Toxanol had named an exoskeleton. Gizmo wants to help if he can. Why, why, not dark? Seems surprised you have to go. It's a game of life. Yours and everyone else's.
you could just go to a place like this to get a proper meal back in the old world. Time to do it on your own. Keep those stompers on the straight and narrow. There's a place and time for everything, but for that city scenario, it's already come and gone. Your enemies will flee before you. Bang Shelter 7B is still there, open and ready to shelter. of the guidance system.
Just watch where this thing's going. Let's see. See what this thing can do. You found Bionucleus 8C. These towers are one of the main reasons the old world went under. This area is biocontaminated. It's really hazardous. <laughs> 